Hello there. Uh, let's look at some of the uh, troubleshooting techniques uh, used with the RSLogic 5000. Uh, I created this file uh, back when they uh, when we have uh, an older version installed in the lab. Now, of course, I well, you know we have a Studio 5000, uh, but the troubleshooting techniques uh, are very, very similar. So uh, I'm going to talk about both here uh, in this in this file, All right? And uh, of course, at the beginning, I want to talk about the, the little bit of difference with the Studio 5000. So if you want to uh, start with the troubleshooting, you need to find the errors, right? So uh, at least there are three different ways to open the error window from the Studio 5000. The first one. You can verify the program, right? One is the verify routine. The other one is verify a whole project. That will bring up the error window, right? So that's the first way. Second, if you go to the menu, click view, there's an option called errors. Right? That also can uh, give you that uh, window uh, uh, on the top, right? So bring that on the top. And the third one, you can look at at the bottom. Right, so from the Studio 5000, they gave that uh, uh, little bit tab on here. So you, if you click that, that also will do the trick, right? So that's the three ways to bring up the window. And uh, then on the second picture on here, uh, I have to talk about something I don't like the new feature. So in the uh, Studio 5000, uh, they bring up, uh, they set up the window as the default auto high. So this is, I guess, this is a, a common feature from Windows 10 uh, operating system, right? So that's uh, consistent from uh, with uh, other uh, application, not only for the Studio 5000, right? So uh, you have to be aware with this feature, right? So if you want to keep looking at this window, uh, you don't want to set up uh, to to want uh, what what it be get, become the auto high right so uh, you have to click this middle this is a pin right so uh, some people call it docking right so this is a toggle so you you only need to press once then uh, it become vertical you can see here once you press it it change the the direction of the pin from the horizontal to a vertical so that means this window is fixed in there. So you might want to do that, right? So once you do that, you will see this window at the bottom of your routine window, right? So this is your letter logic, and this is what you can see with the errors, right? So that is the recommend, uh, I recommend you to do, to set up the window like this. It's very easy to look at the errors, right? So let's look at the details. So on the section two over here, you can see uh, we uh, we talk we focus on the air tabs from the output window, right? So uh, basically, this whole window is what we they call the output window. This window is the term they use that refer to is called routine window, right? And they has deep, it has three different tabs. We focus on the air tabs, right? The watch window is also very uh, useful uh, for monitoring tag value, but that's not the scope of this video. We uh, will focus on this air tab. And uh, uh, yeah, you need to focus on this. All right, so then uh, second, you can see here, if you see the error message, from this window, click on that. So when you click on it, the software will automatically highlight the source of the problem, right? So you can see here, uh, we have uh, four messages at least. Uh, right now I'm highlighting the second one. So once you click on this, this part is automatically being highlighted by the software. So that can help you to quickly locate the, the problem. Right, so this is a feature I want you to be aware. Just if you click any other messages, other part of your routine will be highlighted by this, uh, like this, similar to this. Right, that will help you quickly uh, ping pong the problem. Right, ping pong that uh, uh, errors come from there. Uh, the other thing I want you to pay attention is that normally uh, right beside the uh, the wrongs 
this area is called uh, wrong markings. Uh, it should only have the wrong numbers on there. Right? It should be pretty clear. But if you see lots uh, letters on here, that usually means problems. All right. And the other thing I just realized on here, this is uh, the old feature from RSLogic 5000. With Studio 5000, uh, they remove all those letters. Instead, they have something uh, right on the wrong. So you will see uh, right on the rail, right? So you will see something, the letters on the rail. But anyway, so you will see something, uh, something happening on this area. So that usually indicate also a problem. Right. So not only you can look at the air on the output window, you can also notice on this part of the uh, uh, display. All right. So let's look at the next page. Common errors, right? common messages. Right. So you can see the uh, uh, first one, empty ROM. So if you have a blank ROM, uh, the uh, you cannot download it. That's a, that's just uh, the way it is for the software. Right. You have to delete it, solve that problem. Uh, for the beginners, uh, this is pretty common mistake. Reference tag undefined. So if you use, use something in your program as a tag, but you just type in the name, you didn't properly create it as a tag, then the software doesn't take it, right? So you have to right click the tag and select new. So I talk about this uh, on the uh, video of the creating the tags, all right? So actually this is not the right one way to do it. You should learn the proper way to create new tags, right? But if you do have this type of problem, this is the remedy. How do you fix that? Right? The, other, uh, the other mistake uh, associated with the tag is that you create a tag, but you set it up as a wrong data type. Right. So uh, as we go on to, to talk about the uh, the programming uh, instructions, you will notice that uh, different type of tag, they have different data type to associate with different type of instructions. For example, uh, bit logic, exam on, exam off, has to associate with the Boolean tag, right? So if you do that with the double integer, then it will uh, be a problem and vice versa. Right, so let's look at here. Uh, for example, here, right? So let's talk about the picture, right? So this is the part uh, I explained that based on the picture from the previous page, all right? Let's look at it on there. So if we look at the zoom in this picture here, right? So there are different uh, uh, messages, all right, so let's look at the, if we look at here, obviously that's the empty wrong, that's uh, very easy to fix. Then if you look at here, that's the one I'm highlighting right now. If you click on it, it shows wrong number one, that correspond the wrong number. XIC, exam on, right? So that's this instruction. And then I'll print zero, that's basically refer as the tag. So refer tag is undefined. So that means this tag one is not a new tag. You just type in the tags on here. You didn't create it as a tag, right? So that's uh, the problem with this one. Then let's look at uh, this message on here. This message message also relate to wrong number one on here. Then, but different instruction. SIO is exam off on here. This this instruction. So operand zero uh, basically the tag right invalid data type so that's a different different one from this you know, you define the tag tag two but you create as a wrong data type so you can see here must match the parameter data type so that means the data type is not mat it's not matching to that so exam of is a bit instruction it has to uh, associated with the boot tag. So, so that tells you uh, this tag, you must set up as not Boolean tag, probably a DIN or probably and maybe even other data type, right? That will cause this problem, right? Let's look at the next, the last error message. Same thing, wrong one on here. The addition, add, 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 right? 
that's this one. So you can see operand two, this one has operand two. So this is operand zero, operand one, operand two, right? Operand two is there, invalid data type. So same thing, data type problem. So that means this tag three, it, it has to be double in integer type, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be double integer, but it has to be uh, integer, uh, flow, and any other thing, right? So for example, if you create this tag three as a bool, right? Then definitely you will run into this error message. All right, so this is what you can read from the error message and help you to locate the problem then uh, figure out what's the uh, solution with that, right? So this is the common message, uh, basically uh, what I just explained uh, uh, with the picture, that's basically this part, right? So you just need to open the uh, tag editor, right? Uh, do the uh, appropriate change on the tags. The other uh, problem, uh, I don't have a picture on here, uh, but uh, sometimes it's really hard to uh, explain that with picture, but uh, you need to have this concept, all right? So there's another property with the tag, it's called scope. So with the uh, logic 5000, you have two different levels uh, with the tag. First level is controller. Second level is called uh, local or uh, program tag, right? So Controller is global public, program is local private. So if you create the tag in the different program, they are basically different tags because the program name is part of the, uh, the program name, it's part of its identity. Right, so that's could, that could cause you a problem, right? And the other things sometimes overlook is that you create a pro ta program tag with the same name as the uh, controller tag, right? So for example, you have controller tag, tag one, right? And then with the program, uh, you create exactly the same name, tag one, and this name will block the controller level. So whatever you have in the uh, program, right, when you create, exam tag one, for example, that will refer this. But if you intend to refer this, that's wrong. There's no way you can refer to tag one on the controller level, right? It's being blocked, right? So I haven't found a way to illustrate that. Uh, maybe later on, I, I can come up with a solution, all right? Uh, section four. Sometimes uh, you start the uh, online edit Right, without knowing that, right, relate that. Uh, I have another video talk about online edit. If you don't know about that, then uh, you uh, right now uh, you're doing the in the middle of online edit, and uh, that for sure will cause trouble, right? So for that, please refer different video. I, I don't want to talk about uh, repeat talk about that part, right? Uh, the other category uh, is the communication error. Right. So if you download to the PLC, you need to set up the communication. So if you want to go online, right? Uh, maybe it's obvious, but just for beginner, sometimes uh, you do have this uh, uh, problem. You can see that you haven't set up the path yet, right? If you want to download the PLC, you need to let the software to know where to go, right? So that's obviously one uh, mistake for beginner. Uh, the other thing is that uh, common uh, questions is that when you look at the who active window, try to download, you will see, uh, okay, somebody's name is here. Somebody uh, has program on there. It's okay because it's the slot zero, slot zero, zero, right? You're trying to download on there. Your program will override it, right? If you want to run that, you have to override it, right? So just don't worry, just go ahead and to download, right? Uh, so that is a, a common er, uh, communication errors, right? But uh, the next part, I want to talk about the common program errors, right? So I want you to look at this picture, right? So with this picture, you can see, hope you can see that picture pretty clearly, right? 
So I have a logic here. So exam on PB and uh, energize PL, right? So if you know about that, the uh, green bar uh, represent the logic two, right? So I have a logic two here, but I don't see my PL turn on. What's going on, right? So there are uh, 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 different possibilities, all right? So the first one, controller mode, right? So look at here, right? You are in the program mode, right? If you want to run your logic, you have to set up as remote run. So that is the first uh, possibility, all right? Then uh, second one, all right? The main routine configuration for beginner, all right? So if you look at here, uh, you have two routines. One, you call that subroutine. The other one you call a uh, main routine. The other one you call subroutine one, right? So you gave a very good name on that. You only gave a very good name, but you didn't set up as a main, right? So I can zoom in, you can look at here. So only ca by calling the uh, routine name as main routine, it doesn't set up this as main routine, right? So if you pay attention next time with main routine, you should have a number one on the icon. It's pretty small, but you should see difference between these two icons. This is a subroutine, this is main routine. But right now, this main routine only being named as main routine. It doesn't have the number one on its icon, so that's problem right so uh, that caused the uh, problem because the main routine will be the first routine to run once you set up the run mode and if you don't have any main routine uh, it's simply nothing gonna run All right so this is uh, one problem possibility All right the other one the jump to subroutine instruction. So this, uh, I didn't show you uh, where is this logic that could be in the subroutine. So even though you set up this, you have number one on it, you have the main routine, but within the main routine, you should have a JSR to call the subroutine. If you don't have the JSR to call the subroutine, subroutine don't run, right? It doesn't run. So that could be another possibility on that, right? So uh, that's one uh, possibility I want you to know. Then the uh, last one, double coil, all right? So uh, double coil, that means if you energize the same output more than once, right? For example, here, you have a PB energize uh, the uh, PL, uh, if somewhere at later on, when you have another run, to, for example, you add like this, it could be below or could be a different routine. You have another tag called SS to energize PL, something like that. Even though you have a PB is true, but this one is not true, it's false. That will de-energize the PL, right? So when it's running, this will override this. So you will never see PL turn on, right? So that's why this uh, air is called uh, double coil, right? You cannot energize the same output more than once. So if you do need have the situation, what I just showed you out here, you need to have a second branch, put the SS on here. So whatever you have the condition to uh, control the PL, you should put them into one run. So that's the solution to uh, for the double coil right all right so that's uh look at some of the questions i put together as a quiz all right so that's uh, uh look at on the left hand side all right so um let's look at the picture right so refer to this picture why the program couldn't be downloaded to the plc you cannot download the plc all right let's look at here it has the empty run error no, we don't see that, right? So you can see the, uh, uh, you have wrong zero, you have end, you only have one wrong, right? You don't see empty wrong. And then if you look at here, SS isn't defined as a tag, 
mm, we don't know. We are not sure, right? Uh, same thing for, for PLR has the wrong data type, right? So we, we are not sure about this, but we are pretty sure the communication path is not set up. If you look at here, it says none, all right? So this is the, like I said, pretty common, uh, a pretty uh, uh, obvious mistake, but for beginner, it could be like this. You try to download the PLC, but your path is empty. So that's question number one. Then let's look at the question number two. So if you look at this picture, uh, what do you find on the program, right? So let's look at here. Again, a wrong data type, we don't know, right? Remember we talked about the error, the tab, right? So clearly we see an error message. If you read the error message, it has empty wrong. And also the wrong number is zero. Right now we see number one. It says right above that, wrong zero. You you not you you're not see it, but it's a empty wrong. All right. So if you uh, look at the uh, here, I mentioned the uh, mentioned about the uh, this part, right? So that's the empty wrong. Uh, if you know the uh, Siemens PLC, uh, they are okay with the uh, empty wrong, or they call the blank uh, network, right? So, but Rockwell doesn't allow that, right? So, so for this, you have to choose the here, right? So the other three is just simply we are not sure, we don't know. I'm pretty sure the the pass is not the right right answer, right? How do you know that? How do I become a sure this is not the right answer because if you look at here it's downloading right so it's downloading that means it has passed right if the pass is empty there's no way you can start the download so this definitely is wrong and by looking at this message right this is a right answer all right let's look at the next one question three all right, so again, uh, we have a error message, right? So if you look at the error message, first thing I want you to pay attention, it says run zero, OTE, operand zero, it's undefined. You know immediately undefined, right? So that's supposed to be, uh, uh, need to create tag one. So, but but other uh, ones, I, uh, we can look at it. I'm gonna add it. Online edit, um, no, we are not online. We haven't uh, downloaded yet, right? so that's wrong. Key switch position, it's wrong. So if if you are curious, you can see here, right? So that's the key switch. In the middle, it's REM. That's the right position, right? So this answer is wrong. And need to add in, uh, input instruction. That basically, some people maybe say that you should have the exam on or exam off. No, you don't need. You can only have the output energized as the only instruction on the wrong. So that means you want energized PL1 as soon as the uh, PLC power on, right? Uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's perfectly legal, right? So this is wrong answer on this. Communication pass, uh, you can see here, pa sorry, pass is here, right? It has in there. so. That's not the correct answer, right? Okay, let's look at the question number four. So by now, I think you uh, probably first thing you want to look at is just the uh, error message, right? So that's a good habit. I want you to understand that. So if you read this, run zero XIC invalid data type. So XIC is this, right? This is OTE, right? So that means PB1. It's not boo, right? So if you look at the, uh, the answer, PL1 should be boo. No, that's not, right? That's, that's because over here it says XIC, right? So that's referred to that. The input instruction should be XIO, and that doesn't matter, right? So uh, that depends on your logic, right? It's not what we are talking about here. Right now we have a data type problem, right? Need to create uh pb1 uh not the case right we already created it's just a wrong data type 
So that's why this is the right answer, should be boot type. You already created, but you, you set up a wrong type. Need to create PL1. No, it didn't show up on this window, right? So PL1 should be good, all right? So uh, correct answer should be here. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh, sorry. Uh, question number five. I just want to remind you, all right, uh, from here, click the error message or warning in the RSLogic 5000 output window. The help, me uh, mes help message uh, will pop up? No. Instruction help? No. The source of the error. That's the part I talk about here, right? So that's just, uh, I, I want to emphasize this again. Right. So if you see the error message, click on it. That's a very good feature. Click on that. That will bring the highlight. So, so far, everything we talk about on the uh, above questions, you can all, all do, uh, all accomplish that by highlight, click on the message and locate the problem. All right. So this is something uh, I want to keep in mind. All right. So this is something uh, you have a, like a syntax error you couldn't download. Then from question number six, uh, you download it, then uh, you you couldn't get the work, right? So that's different level, different thing, uh, we'll look at it. So you can see here, refer to this picture, why PLY is not on. I choose the most correct answer. So you can see here, right? We talk about this in the uh, troubleshooting, all right? So that's uh, this part. Right. So let's look at this particular problem, if we can figure out. There is no main routine. No, that's good. You can see here, main routine, that's the number one I'm talking about. You can see a little bit on here. I, uh, I, I couldn't zoom in, but you can see that uh, little bit of white background here on the, on the icon, right? You have a main routine. So this is not right answer. Wrong mode. Yes, wrong mode, right? You can see here, you are in program mode. You're supposed to be in the run mode, right? So this is right. Let's look at here, double coil, we don't know. Uh, uh, we, we can sure it's not right because you can see here, run zero and nothing else. That's the only run you have in this PLC, right? Since there's no way you can have a double coil with only one run, right? Online edit. No, it's not on an edit. PB1 should be pressed. That's just a, uh, like just uh, something to trick you, right? So nothing to do with uh, P, uh, PB1 pressed, right? Just in, if you're curious, right? You don't know that the, the uh, PB1 is normally open or normally closed, right? So in, the, in this case, you know that's true. That's all you need to know, right? So with, it could be released, right? You, you don't show, you don't know, you, you're not sure. So that's why it's not the right answer. Okay, let's look at the next question number seven. Question number seven, same thing. All right, so uh, very simple letter logic, PB1, PL1 uh, is true, but why is not on, right? Double coil syndrome, again, only one main routine, only one run no way to get a double coil. PB1 should be pressed. Like I, I mentioned, that doesn't make a, 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 for sure it's the problem, right? So let's look at other options. No main routine, main routine is good, right? So that's not the solution. Run mode is in the run mode, it's good, right? So that's not the right answer. Online edit is not finalized. So basically, if you already look at here, those areas should be clear, should be nothing on there, right? So with Studio 5000, probably you will see the eye on here, right on the rail. So this area is not clear. So that tells you the online edit is not finalized, right? For that, like I said, you need to finalize, click this button, all right? So that's the question number seven. Let's look at the number eight. With number eight, same thing. 
uh, we have a PB1, we have PL1, and we could energize the PL with this logic too, right? So wrong mode, that's here. No, that's, that's not there. Double coil, again, right? Uh, only one wrong, not this. No main routine, yes. You see here, this one, if you look at the one we had before, this one is clear, nothing show up on the icon, right? So if you want to set up as a main, you need to right click main program and go into the configuration, right? So that's where you set up as the main routine. And we wonder why uh, we have this kind of problem. So I think this is a something, uh, uh, Studio 5000, uh, maybe a future version need to be uh, improved on that. So when people create program, in well, it's online, it doesn't give that option, right? So there, maybe Raphael can do something later on in the future, right? So this is the right answer out here. Uh, again, that's just a distraction, right? Online edit, finalize, no, you can see here, everything is clear, nothing show up on here, right? Uh, also, if you look at there, uh, it's being highlighted on the rail. So if I go to the previous one, you will see here, if you have a high, uh, online edit problem, you don't even have the highlight on the rails. Right? That's the other thing you can pick up the problems. All right, so let's look at question number nine. Question number nine, same same question I asked you again. So why the PL is just won't turn on? Right? PB1 should be pressed, again, distraction. You don't know normally open, normally close, right? So nothing you can, uh, only thing you can know here is the instruction is true, right? Main routine didn't call the subroutine, probably, right? Let's look at the other, PLC power off, nonsense, right? So you are running uh, everything there, nonsense, right? PB1 should be released, same thing contradictory with this, right? So that's not right. So. Why do you think the didn't call subroutine? You can see here, underneath the tab, this is this one is being highlighted. It's called PBs uh, underscore PLs. That's this subroutine, right? And then over here, the main routine is this. Right? It has the number one icon. And if you don't have JSR with, within the main routine to call this subroutine, then it will not run. All right, so this is something you may uh, need to look into, all right. Okay, so last question, number 10. All right, uh, let's look at here, same thing. Why PL won't turn on, double coil? Yeah, so far everything uh, we talked about, we haven't talked about this yet, uh, but uh, let's do a uh, elimination, all right? PL, PL1 is defined as a double integer tag. If that's the case, you won't be able to download. How can you get online, right? So this is definitely wrong. PLC controller in the wrong mode. You can see here, it is right. So this is the wrong answer. Tag PB1 is undefined. Same thing, right? If you have this problem, you couldn't even download. How can you get online, right? So that only leave the last part, double coil, right? Let's, uh, sometimes it's really hard to troubleshoot, right? Because over here, you you have this PB and PLs with only one wrong. Yeah, you think it's, uh, there's no way you can get a double coil, but don't forget, this is a subroutine. You could have some logic within the main routine, right? For example, you could have JSR, JSR to call the subroutine. Then you, after that, you have another SS, like I mentioned, to energize the PL then you have the double coil, all right? So uh, I hope this will help you with the troubleshooting, all right? I will see you on different video, all right? Thank you, bye-bye.